Hey guys, Sidhya, welcome to this Hall of Fame interview, and I'm here with Jayant Rasam Sethi, who is from Hyderabad. He got into our community uh, four months back, like around May 2021, actually a little longer than that. In the last four months, he's been able to achieve over 15 lakhs implementing the freedom business model systems. Interesting thing about him is a founder and an AI scientist into artificial artificial intelligence from IIT Madras, Columbia University, and uh, he's running a community called Pixel Test now with over 100 plus students. And he's also part of the Transformers hype. So all you Transformers, cheer him up he, as he's entering the Hall of Fame. And uh, what an amazing journey, Giant. You, like four months, 15 lakhs, very uh, na narrowed down micro niche, teaching people AI and stuff like that. And it's a pretty hot niche also to be in. And uh, amazing results. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. How does it feel being here? Thank you so much, Sids. Uh, first off, kudos to you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, you know, for, for coming into my life. My only regret is you didn't come sooner. Uh, where were you? Like, uh, feels, um, uh, first off, very grateful. Couple of words, grateful, uh, thankful, extremely thankful, gratitude. And, and it's, it's a cocktail of emotions going on right now. Uh, uh, I, I can't continue to thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much. IIT Madras, Columbia University, like super credentials. Thank you. Uh, before we get into your journey here and stuff like that, like I know you've been through the whole academia world and now you've come into the digital coaching world. Uh, what do you see as a difference between that world and this world? Like now that you've seen both the worlds, you know, I, I keep talking about reforming education employment system. Like, are you, do you resonate with it? 200%. I think uh, you, you absolutely nail it right from the webinar, etc. cetera, where I saw your webinar. And um, so two key points is one is traditional education systems are broken. They are meant to keep you in servitude. You have to be a slave. Uh, you know, my father's been, uh, I think I'm sure our fathers have been doing the job job. Even now they don't know what I'm making. So they're like, just do a job, just do a job. I think uh, it's a complete remiss. And I'm working also, as you know, closely with some of the bigger partners. They're still indoctrined yes. in those old legacy beliefs. It's just broken. You want a salary, you want to be there, just, you know, be into that. Um, the second way is to make money, to create wealth, to impact people like the way you are doing and the rest of the community members are doing. You have to do something different. It's not taught. It's definitely not taught in universities. And I can tell with a you know, little bit of humble bragging that I've been to the best in both worlds. They just don't talk, teach you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also, so, I mean, it's also so much of imposter syndrome. You, you go to the best universities, etc., but the bank balance, like you say in your webinar, it doesn't reflect. So it's all the more inflated. And then at the same time, you feel very shorthanded. Um, yeah, so those are my two points on that. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that, uh, you know, Jay. And what did you experience like after you came into ILH as a community? And uh, like in the first two, three months, what shifts did you experience in your thought process and, and the whole approach to what you wanted to do? Yeah, I made notes as well. So I came into your community when I saw, I'll tell you exactly the path. I still remember April 25th was... Uh, uh, Digital Deepak's birthday. And then I saw you at 9 mm. p.m., 9.30. I was about to just hit the sack. But then I saw you do the charity. That just hit me hard because my previous venture, which is also going on, is healthcare AI. Uh, I've made some decent dough there, but uh, we were working with not-for-profits. So that helped me. Something, there was a connect, like like most members say, that it's, it happens. Connects happen. I saw you immediately swipe, I think, 25,000 or 2 lakhs or something. So that just hooked me. I mean, I, I, even before that, I did see your ads, but I was like, ah, who is this DJ looking guy? Uh, but then when I hit that and I got your ebook, uh, which was uh, very useful, I read through that. Then I immediately sat for Monday morning your uh, webinar. And then that's it. That uh, pizza example that you said. So it really doesn't matter, you know, what ingredients you have, et cetera, but that specific sequence for success, mm. there is a specific path that you have to take starts with the mindset. So that two resonations were amazing. Uh, so I, I came to Silver. So April 26th, so 25th was his birthday. 26th, I bought silver. May 16th, I bought diamond. August, I bought quantum because it was just gradual. I mean, I, I just went through all of your... So first three months, answering to your question. Sorry, I'm speaking a little quickly. No, that's that's yeah. fine, yeah. <laughs> kind of excited. Uh, first three months, I remember silver and I was trying to quit smoking. So I went down because I saw it and I knew I was onto something. I went down, I remember in my shots after the webinar, I purchased it. I knew I was onto something really big. Um, I bought purchase silver. I did exactly what you told. So till diamond, you said, I think one of the, um, sessions you were saying, just follow the path and more importantly, watch each of the hall of fames before. 
So then I watched Digital Pratik. I watched uh, Rishwan. I think the Singapore yes. gentleman, and they were getting results. And I was like, wait, okay. You know, people smarter than me, people not so smart. Everybody's getting results. It's so so. It's not your intelligence. It's not your like you said the EQ, um, IQ, and all. All those are useless. There's a specific path. You know, don't use your brain. Just get in, start implementing, and take action. Like I mean, that's the minimum in that specific sequence, right? So I remember. and my mom was like who is this why are you watching uh, he seems tamil and i was like yeah just hold on <laughs> and then i watched each one of those systems i watched webinar automation uh, that chapter blew my mind uh, because i could see like a specific path for that exponential geometric growth i mugged that i scripted that i i took all my old papers and i was making so many notes so and then um, so i did the exact path uh, so first three months i think you, so i didn't have a problem with my niche because yes. uh, sorry uh, maybe you have some questions Uh, no 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 you continue yeah so okay. what happened in that phase so for you niche was not a problem you're already niche uh, was not AI a problem niche was not a problem and i think i, I sent you a telegram message with, to which uh, probably you might not mm. remember so the context was so i felt like a big pista because uh, so before that i was teaching ai i was teaching at you know great learning simply learn all of these got acquired for like 600 mil 250 mil and i used to fly like you know vistara i took 67 flights pre corona in like 3 wow. 4 months mm. I, you know 4 am flights thinking i'm like saving money and you know being like a big uh, thing but those things i mean they take a toll right they take a toll on your health that's not a lifestyle that's that's scalable it's it's in the short term it's very interesting so then when i saw your model etc i was like wait okay you just have to throw your other entire your clear your desk uh, so i did exactly so my niche was not a problem but my results were a problem like Uh, yeah so the first mm-hmm. three months i sat i called some of my old friends i did some few ads uh 12 people so i didn't want to record in an empty screen so 12 people were the 10 people i recorded straight for three months the whole of the ai course which typically takes like six months uh i just start back to back to back uh, upload it straight onto youtube and and uh, i'm not using teachable but uh, 46 or 50 videos each two hours it. long so my thing and was did set- you did you follow my web uh, my curriculum formula like did you simplify it in like 3 day 30 day 90 day like that framework or? i took uh, some elements of it um, and, and and yeah the curriculum design etc i like the chocolate thing etc yes uh, yes i i'll be honest i didn't entirely follow it because i was still thinking okay ai means you need to give assignments you need to do coding correction exactly. but now mm-hmm. i'm doing it now i'm doing okay. it uh, uh, i'm going back because it's very essential to relook basics again and again and again So now I'm doing that, uh, uh, you know, going back to YouTube and searching what is what does audience want, uh, because I was still in the legacy mindset. So this mm-hmm. is how competitors are doing it. This is where I worked, and I I didn't listen to the market, which is what you always advocate, guys. Just listen to the market. Just listen to sense. Just don't use your head. Like like literally push that away and just follow the steps. Follow the steps. Like iron clad. That's what I would do. Then uh, first month I tried ads. I want to say July uh, um, or August. It wasn't good, but August nineteenth, I I picked up another friend's help, and then that's it. Uh, it. It was just scaling after that. Super. By when did you finish uh, recording your courses? Like you, April, you came. Uh, by June, you were you were all set. No, May. Uh, so May seventeenth was my first class. So okay. I did three times a week, uh, nonstop till August second week. Yeah, August first. August week, second week. Mm. Yeah. And what was it like? Your first webinar, pulling in sales, and what was that feeling like? I mean, oh, have you sold God. before? Yeah. No, no. I used to sell. So my for my for okay. a previous uh, venture, like I said, the healthcare. I used to meet hospitals. I okay. met like twenty six, twenty seven hospitals, feet on street, you know, waiting mm. for the doctor. And if somebody is okay. more arrogant, uh, uh, I think I mean doctors watching this, please don't judge me. But they literally make you wait there, and you think that that is life, right? Oh, you have to wait, mm. get a deal, and all that. Mm. So. And then completely, there's this other model. First webinar I went live, I had twenty three people just getting traffic from other organic sources, and one purchase, one person just purchased. I was like, wait, what just happened? That was like, and that was for a twenty thousand product because um, wow. AI. I felt mm. like yeah, I I needed that price point, and he, no questions asked. He did not even chat with me in the entire webinar. I was calling out names, using our entire formula, all that you know, keeping the micro commitment, micro commitment. And the guy just paid, and the first webinar was one and a half hour, so like my pitch was from the first star or something. That's it. Like I gave up. Like I was like nobody's interacting. Seems like um, you know you're fighting your own battles, right? That's, that's yes. Really the devil is the devil is inside us. Yeah. First webinar, I got the twenty thousand rupees sale straight away, and then I knew like okay, now 
there's a repeatable formula just follow this it's about me then the problem is me right mm-hmm. so it's about mm-hmm. setting those mindset etc yeah nice and then uh, so are you still like starting with the 20k product that's that's the caliber of people you're doing or you've uh, changed the model yeah good question no i'm sticking to pretty much you like uh, i believe that that uh, silver gold platinum that's very required at least for the indian yes. market so i have the l1 at 7000 just just following your mm. norms that's it just keep it about mm. 5k l1 mm. is at 7k l2 is at 20k right now uh, the l3 i'm going to launch sooner yeah okay okay great superb so i mean this these numbers are pretty good like 15 lakhs in 4 months and how, what's your uh, like how many webinars are you doing per week are you automating the whole thing or are you doing it live like wh- what all have you done in the last uh, what's like moving the the needle now for you perfect yeah so in terms of uh, number of webinars we're doing about three automated webinars plus one live uh, the live okay. one I'm, i'm actually experimenting something new like different price points or something else because i'm mm. i'm constantly relentless about trying to get that one thing maybe doing a poll here and there although i admit i haven't been too uh, strict on it uh, the automated webinars are working so i have one thing that's set and that's going and uh, i think that was based on the uh, a feedback you had given me just yes. continue to do the one on ones you're absolutely right uh, because you got to be close in contact with the market like the exactly. prospects what are the questions mm. they're asking how do we keep making it better and um, so now i think facebook traffic i'm reasonably okay youtube traffic i'm still trying to find the bearings so i i'm pushing myself out no matter how much i don't like the sale just just go ahead and 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 commit yeah so uh, so i would say 3 and 1 got it got it so good great to see your your funnel stabilize and i think one of the reasons because you are sure about your topic you're sure about your niche and uh, i mean your credentials all of that you know all of these things add up to the conversion process and and you have all of that on your on the good side you know it's like working for you uh, on, on another thing another perspective i want to ask you is like uh, yes uh, intellectual side of things knowledge all of that you've got uh, what like what personal changes have you seen in your life after coming into this community i think uh, i mean my response to that would be twofold it seems it's intellect it seems all that and and many of us want to believe that it's always but i don't think that's the case i i i i mean thanks thank you for for those kind words but it's always like almost like what you say just just at the process the grind the process i think there was mm-hmm. one of those um, i think inner circle calls where you show like an iceberg the tip is there and then uh, it's almost extremely silly how you go back to simplicity right all of this so the same energy that i i'm i'm putting in the same energy that i had uh, you know prior previously last yes. three four years then said i was doing the venture i'm sure you have also uh, yes in your prior, mm. previous venture but it's that systematic process just sticking to it without using too much of your head um, because the devil is you right i mean you you can be a big dog but you'll be still chasing the tail if you don't follow the so i don't think that's really important as much as sticking to a proven track at a, you know and process uh, and then like you said the 90 day 120 day i i've done it religiously like i've not missed nice. a day of all night a day i not missed wow. a day of uh, gold card what what changes did you notice like was a rewiring happening you noticed some the way you respond to people or situations 200% i think there's something so subconscious enough people are not talking about it. i know you you have been the virat kohli like advocating it espousing it like religiously but i think more people have talked about it like mindset is everything uh, i don't know why all colleges miss it it's not been taught in iit i definitely know it's not been taught in ivy league and the first time even see uh you know smart people such as us disbelieve that oh this guy is talking about mindset oh this guy is talking about abundance this guy is talking about this so i think somewhere this pessimism comes in which is idiotic it's all about the mindset my relationship with my parents have improved my relationship with my friends have improved i think even with myself like there's something subconscious yes. like you say keeping that goal card first time i took out one uh, you know patch of paper and put it below, below my phone i took it religiously like uh, after seeing what you said you know put it on the mirror put it everywhere uh i mean also i think i was lucky that i was in a vulnerable state at that time because okay. i wasn't mm. getting those results as well as much as i had hoped so i just blindly stuck to the process and it and it hits you it hits you each number now now you have a repeatable formula and also you are able to see your thought patterns right like earlier you are not like earlier if if some college had asked me do a session in ai i would just take it because i needed the money or some side do 
uh, now it's not like I'm saying enough knows, like you you said. Yes. So that mindset shift is it's paramount. Like, and also I, I one last piece there I want to talk. enough people are a lot of people I know who are making money, and I've been privileged to have really good friends. Some of them are going public and all. Their mindset is still messed up. So it's 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 tragic actually why such a jewel is uh, uh, this this formula. Which was there forever, but you know you're espousing it and taking it to the next level. Mm, absolutely, Jay. Like having all that money and and not yeah. being congruent is. Yeah. I mean, it'll show up at at some point later, right? That's it's not true. a like Blair. He says uh, it's like a balloon with holes. You know, the that's bigger true. you blow it, it'll the holes will get bigger that's down true. the line. Yeah. And that's why we see some of our big names even crashing. Uh, whatever, like yeah, they have their. Claims to fame, but then that there's also that other side that comes in. I think that's why this is such an important element. Thank you for mentioning that. And like you rightly said, uh, you know, for you, you were open and receptive to it because you were in a vulnerable state. Like even in yeah. for, in my case, like I did not have any other option. I just need to do it because I got yeah. it from my mentor. And uh, I think that is one challenge, right? In, if in the whole intellectual academia world, I mean, there is a set of horns that come through it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I mean, you, I mean, you can't really penetrate unless they are put in a humbling situation, right? What, what do you have to say about that? Like, or what message do you have for people who are in, um, you know, in that side of the world? Yeah, I think, uh, I think like what what I've seen. Uh, uh, I mean, you're walking the the walk and the talk, and like Blair and all the lectures, uh, all the sessions. I've been really privileged to see you. Uh, it's almost paradoxical. One is all these intellect people. I think also it's the curse of the system. You're spending so much money in a rat race competitive exam for a competitive and a shit exam for 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 a education that's really not useful. I don't know, but all our parents are trapped in that. Even my cousin's discussion is about that. It's kind of, um, and then for an 18 year old, you who's you know everybody's telling you you're really smart and everything. Uh, that's really not that's not important. Like EQ is everything. Like it'll take them some time. It'll yes. take them five years, ten years of despair, despair, despair. Blair, I think, says that. Um, uh, very well in his in his uh, 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 session, the, the three day session, he says you yes. must see despair, right? I think it's almost mandatory that uh, that happens. And I think um, weirdly enough, I mean everybody who's intellectual or whatever it is, just get in the community. I think it should be made mandatory almost, like get in, you know, get see enough dough, like make enough money, solid money in the right way with the right value system. Value system mm. is very very important because yeah. I'm I'm seeing a lot of examples. And when I didn't have enough money or a geometric progression to money, I was also vulnerable. Oh, he's doing it. So maybe I should get tempted to do these kind of things as well. Uh, so I don't know if it's making sense, but, you know, just right values plus right money is just uh, an unprecedented advantage. For, mm. for the next 30 years, you're set. Absolutely, Jan. In fact, I did a uh, thought. I thought about this deeper. In fact, on my YouTube channel, there's a there's a video I've listed on top. Karma and business. Okay, so I brought like yeah. there are different ways. Like it's not just about making money, but how you make it, and how you use it, and who you're serving, and how they use it. You know, there's that's there's true. a big loop that that's created there. So tell us about now. The next question is, uh, you know, previously you have taught a lot. You've done teaching. You've traveled. You've taken so many flights, and now. The whole mode is now shifted towards uh, teaching with community building. Okay, yeah. tell us about what has that experience done to you as a person? Yeah, uh, I think um, first off, community building. I mean, you would hear about it. Okay, Airbnb became big because of some community management and all, mm. but you don't perceive it. Like, there's a difference between right. you know seeing some cake and actually eating it and tasting it. I think I did not know the length and breadth of community until I saw yours. Like you just show up like Kohli, like every week pushing and pushing and and also adding to the previous point, being vulnerable, right? Showing us your dashboard, showing us the systems. Then you're like, wow, like like wow, that's a refreshing breath of air. I mean, there's like one of my mentors, um, advisors of the previous company was like, there's yeah. oceans of mediocrity but islands of excellence. And so for us, for me at least, to connect to that, okay, seeing this dashboard and this is the pain Siddharth is going through as well. So that's wow, right? Um, I did not ever see a deep I have not been a participant of a deep community building the way you do. Honestly, three times a week showing up for, or, or two times or one time, whatever, is ridiculously hard, man. Like I'm doing it. I've, I've showed up uh, six six months every week nonstop. Yes. And it's hard. It's hard. You have so many things you're battling. And also the many people fall short because they don't have a long-term view. Like mm -hmm. nobody's mm -hmm. thinking, okay, two years later, 
all these things are going to domino i mean the love the affection results everything is going to just like meteorically rise nobody and that's why there's no competition like uh, like you say and and that was so i could see it and feel it um and then um, i mean it's completely radically different from what i've seen even iit madras see madras is like you know the number one college and all that it, yes it comes organically but it's it's um i feel like there's like i mean it has its own values etc not to compare mm. but but mm. i feel this is more like a religious congregation uh it's not something new it's been going on for for centuries yes. and for yeah yeah but but the elements are there right so yeah and uh, now that you you're building communities you know just you know just giving information or yeah. completing a portion that has to be completed uh, i think even you would have noticed that you you feel more responsible for them or you start to do more research okay on what the community needs and you're like you're listening to the market on what what's happening so uh, how has that process been for you you know having those conversations and you know understanding exactly what they want it's not like what's in your head but what they want what has that process been like for you i think radically different like i can say with some moral authority that see i've been part of you know four companies at tech companies in the last four years teaching ai uh three of them like i told you you know again uh, great learning simply learn talent sprint got bought one of them went bankrupt so i and i worked with two of these companies very closely with the founders so i've been very fortunate to see venture raise then what students are saying all that and on the flip side on the other side i have also seen students because they call me you know hey i got a job in let's say google or microsoft what do i do should i take it or not uh, here's a better offer letter and my own head was like oh i've seen enough you know what i mean like okay i i know the entire 100 question list which you say but then when you're building your community and you keep the market genuinely ahead and you're responsible and also you're sort of in a way creating the future those 100 questions change totally like now for me i've just realized like people need help with even writing resumes like simple mm-hmm. resumes mm-hmm. you can't aspire for a you know fang job like facebook apple amazon netflix without actually fixing the resume you know skills so this is some insight you kind of know but you're not willing to take an action but here that's the burning problem so now i've introduced a module on okay you know how do you optimize your linkedin profile your cv profile that insight i would have never drawn uh, had i not been you know seeding the community the way you had you prescribe and you advocate and you're doing right uh, it's not just theoretical knowledge um, so i think keeping the market relentlessly ahead will will hammer all your previous assumptions it's very important to do that uh, um, and and somehow somewhere even they understand it like not now but a month later two months later when when that result comes in you're happy it's a nice cyclical loop as opposed to like a transactional cyclical loop right amazing jain i mean thank you for bringing that out it's been really uh, you know inspiring to see your journey and the way you've integrated everything and uh, and and the way that now you've you've started to go ahead with building communities with a bigger mission purpose and stuff is not just about helping people with the uh, info but it is about you know, taking them to that finish line and stuff uh, so what has uh, diamond uh, membership done to you quantum membership like anything you want to give for people who are still yeah. thinking about it yeah see uh, i think i'll be just straight and upfront if um, so there are three levels of people the way i look at it right somebody i mean all of all of us want to make money that's that's and mm-hmm. we get it that's liquidity that's oxygen uh, that's the way current uh, uh, world is wired so but there's different levels of seriousness if if you've had a pre- if you know your niche and you're super clear and you failed at least or, or you've been in the market for one two years you could be fashion you could be doctor you could be tech you could be whatever i think you should straight away just uh, borrow money or sell assets and get into diamond straight away whatever the cost it's a no brainer because the the community will will lift you i was just telling my mom that uh, we made a big uh, mistake like when you wanted to educate yourself yeah you have to go to iits and all that or whatever mm, like colleges yes. but when you want to make money and 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 um, you want to be in the community that's making money right uh, you're the some of the five monkeys around you and, and if i'm one monkey then the rest of the others have to be the people who are smarter than you you're, you know more more switched on and making if if you're not clear about your niche etc then I, then i would recommend like maybe silver start slow but but just get upgraded to diamond very very fast if you're super clear about your niche and you have the financial wherewithal it's just a no brainer call sids email him just get into quantum that's it because it's 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 25 members or i don't know you, you'd probably extend that whatever that number is it's a super committed group uh, and and i think they're going to take on the world 
and more importantly even if you want to rest in 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 a like when you're complacent and, and all of us become complacent sometimes you see others get results others pushing you harder pushing you harder and the right values more importantly right values are very important because everybody is keen on helping um, because somewhere all of us also have some you know at least maybe in india or, or probably globally have a negative view on money that's not there in the groups so i mean hopefully that uh, doused any of your apprehensions for for the naysayers well you're a naysayer <laughs> uh, uh, sometime you you know you will you 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 will learn and you will come back to the community yeah thank you jay for that yeah so for me like quantum uh, just happened like that and those of you yeah. who are watching uh, was, it's yeah. going to be a very small group it'll only be like 50 to 100 max in a year yeah. i can't handhold more than that uh, we just launched the first group called quantum alpha one and jayant is a part of that yeah and then we're going to launch the next spartans very soon so uh jayant you don't know this but the next batch will also be 25 and the batch after that also maybe 20 will only be 25 and you three g- batches of quantum are going to compete with each other so just wait for that gamification that's going to come okay so that's that's a surprise that i just let out of the bag now yeah yeah, yeah. so great uh, all of you here watching, we are inspired by this interview. Uh, please share your love wishes and congratulate Jayant on his uh, just warming up face Thank of you. his journey. There's yeah. a lot more, long way to go. And uh, in the link in my YouTube description, there's a link to his website. If you know anybody who wants to learn about AI, machine learning, and all the other stuff that he yeah. teaches, anyone in your family, go, ask him to check it out. If you'd like to be a part of Internet Lifestyle Hub, there's a link below. You can click on that and join. And Jayant, I like to ask this question at the end, which is the one thing. Like if you have to break it down to one uh, success principle that's very, very close to you and like it's a part of your core, what is your one su- secret or one success principle? I mean, be an eternal optimist. Mm. I guess just being positive uh, uh, and relentless about that. Uh, I mean, yeah. uh, I think somewhere I've kind of understood like, so it's, it's like different levels of your mindset, right? Mindset. So it's yes. uh, depression, then interest, then passion, then possession, then obsession, right? Yeah. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. So be a relentless optimist. Yeah. No matter what. Mm, yeah. Love it. Can see that in you. Thank, Thank you, you, Jayant, Thank for you. what you do. And uh, congratulations. Looking forward to interviewing you next in the Crow Club. That's your next milestone. And yeah. let's get there very soon in following this yeah. model. I, I have then, one, uh, parting yes. thought, one parting thought. So Please. I see a lot of cynicism, even with members within the community. They're like, oh, I tried this, but then... Oh, that you know, uh, Sid's model is not working, or oh, this thing. I think it works. It really works. And you like it or not, you must admit to yourself, it's the problem is you, right? It's fa- it's extremely funny that uh, we spend so much money, one lakh, two lakh, five lakhs on college education. It's not doing anything. But you have proven systems that are working. Just follow it. Just borrow money. Do whatever it takes. Just get into the community. And I'm not like espousing. I don't get anything from this because. If you have liquidity, what will happen is you'll stress free and you can experiment more. You can start discussing yes. with other people. You can make cross pollinations, all that. So that's the advantage of really fast growing uh, liquidity coming in. Your financial wherewithal increases. Your size of experiments increase. So just, just uh, the no brainer. Just get in, guys. Super, Jayant. Yeah, thank you for reiterating that. I mean, that's what the I think Jim Rohn's quote is a is a perfect one to seal this. Is you know, formal education will make you a living. Self education can make you a fortune. Yeah. You yeah. know, so. I think that's that's it. Thank you so much for being that uh, you know case study now for me. You know for for <laughs> both both sides of the story, you know it and you you've lived it, and it's uh, it's it's great. It's just amazing to see how you've also transformed and and the kind of work that you're going to do in the next few years is truly going to. I mean, you're also in a niche which is going to shape the future and yeah. and the way things are moving in the world, the metaverse and this and that. So I'm going to pick your brains once again. Uh, once that unfolds in the world. Anytime. Thank you, Jay, once again. Yeah. Thank you. All the best.